thousand of their closest friends. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun as we'll see the number 10 team in the country, the Pittsburgh Panthers, taking on the 13th ranked team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Dogs will kick it away to get this game going. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. So the Pitt Panthers softens going to get the chance to start this game off. And as this quarterback takes the field, eager to see how he plays today, there's a certain gravity about him. You can tell from the warm-up song the way the team responds and rallies around him. Can he come through on a big stage here? Yeah, this guy is their Superman. There's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. Looks like the defense has it. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there, and they were able to knock it loose. line getting set up it's a first down play he hands it off from the gun and he stopped after 84 yards so second and six and the fullback gets in on the action with the carry and he runs it in for the score touchdown dogs ah the hammer Second down and goal. Who better than the big fullback to get behind that big bruising offensive line? Old school touchdown for this offense. Now here comes the point after attempt. And the PAT makes it 7-0 to open score. Now they get set to kick it away. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Pittsburgh offense is back out on the field. That fumble in the last possession set up a touchdown. And they bounce back from that costly error here. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down. Second and one. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Crossing the 40. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And they hand it off to the back. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. And they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. The Panthers will bring their punt team onto the field. On the return, it's Pena. And the coverage team able to bring him down. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. 
They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able looking to make a play deep downfield. Catch made way down to the 25. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Just ran away from the defense. Here comes the point after attempt. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. He's going to try for a return from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped at the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. Offense out there for the first play of this drive from the 18. Takes the ball and heads to the left. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short game or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. The Panthers will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. We're in a decent game there before the defense brings him down. Well, if you're going to run the read option, you're going to have to keep your eye on that defensive end. If he collapses down inside to the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself as a quarterback to the outside. Now, if he stays outside, you're going to go ahead and leave it in the running back's belly. In this case, he pulled it and got some good yards himself. This pit offense is moving quickly down the field. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Brought down at the three after an excellent running play. Well, that's what you love to see from an offense. The offensive line and the running back in sync, working together, and it pays off. What a big gain. Thought he might be close to being able to take it all the way to the end zone, but the defense just brings him down there inside the five. Offense facing second and goal. Defense trying to jam these receivers at the line. Takes the snap and takes off on the run. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, that's what we call assignment football by the defense. They took away the back inside. There's a perfect play to be able to stop an athletic quarterback on the option. They'll run here on third and goal. And he will be stuffed for no game. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. The decision to go for it doesn't work out this time. How about the offense being aggressive? They decide to go for it here, and i got to give all the credit to this defense. Being aware, anticipating the call, knowing exactly where they needed to make the stop, and they did. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you get positive yards on first down, that's a win. And now a carry here for the fullback. They get him down, but he gets the ball across the 10-yard line. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. That's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. Here's a serious gamble, folks. Coach going for it, backed up near his own end zone. He did not get it. A crucial play by this defense. What a fourth down stop. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. And the single back takes the handoff. The gain is three yards. Brings up a second down and seven. Increase snap motion from the offense. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Who 
crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can he keep the drive going or do they have to settle for three? And he'll drop back here on third down. And he decides to just roll it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. Fields it just outside the goal line. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. That last possession, they got stopped on fourth down in their own end. Let's see if they can get it going. He's looking deep here. That ball is incomplete. An aggressive deep shot on first down. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. He'll hand it off. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball at the 34. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he lofts it toward the sideline. Cut right near the sideline for a big game. We've got an exciting quarterback duel in the making here as we check the first quarter stats. We'll see if this game gets out of hand before halftime. The crucial second quarter beginning right now. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running. Got a lane. Can he get in? Touchdown, Georgia. This offense cannot be stopped. But they try to add to the lead now to the PAT. The extra point makes the lead 18 now. Pickoff team's on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. And the Panthers' offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. Big pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. So from the 21-yard line, it's now second and long. Offense will keep it on the ground here. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark inches away. Panthers will come to the line to run the hurry up. Makes a quick catch. They tackle him at the 43, but that's enough for a first down. Offense cranking up the tempo now. No huddle. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game. Oh, and he fumbles. And the defense jumps on the football. Man, Chris, we can hear the contact from that hit all the way up here in the booth. So, hey, it's easy to blame the ball carrier, but I don't know if anybody could have been able to hold on to the ball after that hit. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going for a big play downfield. Incomplete. They cannot connect on the deep ball. It's pretty simple as a defensive coordinator. When the quarterback drops back to throw, if we get pressure on him, we got a chance to slow him down and win the football game. If we don't, it could be a long afternoon. Good job here by dialing up the pressure. And he'll loft it to the end zone. They try a downfield shot. That's a good effort there. But now it's third down. Chris, we're all guilty of this. We all look at the big plays, the quarterbacks, the offense, how many points, how many yards. And sometimes we overlook the most important aspect of the game, the offensive line. You've got to do a good job consistently. We'll take a deep shot. 
Has caught. Can he get in? No stopping him. Takes it all the way. Touchdown, Dogs. Extra point is good, and they're in front now, 28-3. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Pittsburgh offense is back out on the field. The last possession ended in a fumble, and that set up a touchdown. So they got to bounce back from that right away. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Offense getting set. It's second down. Quarterback pulls it on the read option. He'll test the left side. And the ball is knocked loose. Who's got it? It's a turnover. I get being upset at the ball care for coughing up the ball, but let's not ignore how big of a hit that was. Sometimes you just have to give credit to the defender for making a great play. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Well, they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They're pulling away 35-3. Kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the Pittsburgh offense is back out on the field. Last possession, they fumbled it away and it set up a touchdown drive. Can they bounce back from that right away? It's a quarterback keeper. Well, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. He'll hand it off. And they'll stop him short of the line of game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. The Panthers will have to punt this one away. We're going to kick it away for the second time. Return or tackle right there. That's where they'll start the drive. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. And he breaks loose down the left side. It's a foot race. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Georgia. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. So they begin the drive here in the final three minutes of the half. And there's the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and there's nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call. And they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. They tackle him at the 38. Solid gain. Nice play there. That's a big first down for this offense, and it's not been a great day so far, but maybe this play can get them going. And keep this in mind, Chris, because they started the game with the possession, they will not get to start the second half on offense, so they need points right here. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time... He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. So we reach the two-minute warning, and this offense trying to get something going here and cut into this lead before halftime. So two losses in a row puts them in a tough spot, third and very long. Defense able to stop him. It's fourth down now. 
And now the defense will call a timeout here and make an adjustment on their side before this crucial play. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Deep shot caught inside the 25. Touchdown, dogs. It was a foot race that he wanted. They will try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. So it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. And the Panthers offense is back out on the field. They're in a hole here before they have a chance to regroup at halftime. Let's see if they can cut into this big lead. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. Brings up second down. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Caught over the middle. It's Ramirez. The timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Timeout. Yes, sir. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he lofts one deep over the middle. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Well, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Back to throw again. The pass rush closing in. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. Panthers come to the line in the hurry up. They're going to throw for it on third and short. And he'll just lob this pass into the middle of the field. Oh, the pass is picked off. And he's got some open field ahead. And that's a solid return after the interception. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careful. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. Oh, and he's got it inside the 15. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Bulldogs. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches the football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. Now they line up to kick the extra point. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. And so the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee and will bring the football to the 25-yard line. And the Pittsburgh offense is back out on the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Dumps a short throw down to the running back. And look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice gain. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. New set of downs for the offense, first and ten. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. You know, the game often comes down to a play or two, and the offense just missed a huge opportunity for a big play. They're going to have to make some adjustments there, and maybe go back to that play and see if they can come up with a big opportunity. And this pass is caught. 
An explosive play moves the ball across midfield to spot it at the 38. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. The offense calls a timeout here. That's their third and final of the half. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Defense is coming after him. This throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. Time ticking away. Time for just one more play before halftime. Fourth down, looking to throw for it. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And it's intercepted as he threw it into heavy traffic that time. He'll be brought down as time runs out here in the first half. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Athens to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. All right, thank you for the update, Kevin. Appreciate it. The Panthers will kick this away to get the second half going. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Gets it to the 25-yard line. That's where they start the drive. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. And he's got it down there inside the 35. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. First down here for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He's going to take another shot right here. Caught near the goal line. And he steps out of bounds, close to the goal line. Couldn't quite punch it in there. Dogs looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Direct snap to the back. Touchdown, Georgia. And this one is getting ugly. Kicking team out for the PAT try. PAT is good as they build on this big lead. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. He'll start with the 25. And the Pittsburgh offense is back out on the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. Ball handed off. And the player was down injured after that last play. Let's take a timeout while they check him out. Important second down play coming up. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check it out. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Can't hold on. Good defensive play brings up a fourth down. When these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. 
And they'll kick it away here. And the return will be brought down. Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments? Come up with a stop game, here. Game, game. Offense. Offense. Quarterback unaware of the play clock. That'll cost them five. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Quarterback sets up looking for an open man. Going for a big play downfield. Oh, and he's got it. Big gain inside the 25. Touchdown, dogs. And the beatdown continues. And the PAT is good as they continue to pull away even more. Here's the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. Panthers offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together with this drive? Receiver in motion now. On first and ten, looking to throw. Receiver makes the catch. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. First and ten now for the offense. Handoff here from the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Second down play coming up for this offense. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. The pocket breaking down. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. They can't convert this third down. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Panthers will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And the returner is tackled by this one coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Last time out, a one-play touchdown drive through the air. Can they keep it going here? That's reeled in. It's Wilson. They bring him down quickly, a short pitching catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. That completion makes it second and medium. Makes the handoff here, looking to throw it. And they heave it deep downfield. He's got it inside the 10. They finally tackle him down at the one after that catch and run. The Bulldogs looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. And it's picked off in the end zone. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. Quarterback keeps the football. Oh, the read option here, and the quarterback keeps it. I thought he was going to get out and maybe take this downfield for big yards. The defense, very fortunate to keep him to a shorter game. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Well, the back has been busy, but very little to show for it tonight. That defense has been all over the running game. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. 
That one's picked off. A perfect play. He goes down, but snags the ball. He gives this defense a takeaway. The offense starts with excellent field position. The shotgun running play call. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. Big takeaway, now looking for a big return. So a great return following the pick. They're finally able to get him down. Boy, this defense did exactly what they needed to do. Come up with a turnover here in the second half to get themselves back in the game. They get the interception. Now, can their offense come up with a way to cut into this lead? They've got him down out near the 40. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Offensive backs up at the line, showing press. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. The defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. The pass is intercepted. Not much on the return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 41. Boy, but this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And looking for a big play here. And the pass caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Bulldogs. To stretch the lead, the route is on. BAT is good as they build on this big lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. And the Pittsburgh offense is back out on the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. And he dumps it off to the tight end. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Second down play coming up. Second down coming up. 29 Philly. Two not Play action fake. Looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. And now the handoff. They make the tackle, but the game moves the ball to the 28. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. Still looking for that elusive touchdown, but finally this offense is moving. First down and 10. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. And the junior able to get home with the sack. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. That sack sets up a second down and very long. Quarterback keeps it. He's going to try the right side. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yard. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Receiver makes the grab. The completion picks up about eight yards, but sets up a fourth down play now. And now the defense decides to spend the timeout to regroup a bit. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. After making his first attempt, they'll try again from 41 yards out. No problem. Knocks it right through. So they tack on three points, but still a large deficit. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Return starts from inside the five. Oh, and he's got some space here. Picks up some blocks. Can they catch him? Can they catch him? No! Touchdown! 
Special teams making a monster play. The returner gets the touchdown, but a bunch of guys contributed that time. Bro. Yeah, exactly right. The blocks up front really set the tone to be able to give him his chance. You don't see this happen very often in this game where a guy gets a chance to have a kickoff return for a touchdown. Everything has to be just perfect, and of course, he had the speed to be able to get it all the way to the end zone. The offense will line up, chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Play action here on first down. Running out of time in the pocket. And it's incomplete on the overthrow. Just too much on that ball. This should be the last play of the quarter. In the read option, quarterback pulls it, and he'll keep it running left. And the tackle is made as time runs out in the third quarter. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. This has been a beatdown, and the stats at the end of three reflect that. One quarter to play in what has been a beatdown so far. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. From the gun, he looks for an open man. And the junior gets home making a sack there. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Second down, we're going to throw it. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. The DB is backing off from the line now. We're going to throw it on third and very long. He pulls it in for a big gain. That's a huge gain. Stop finally made it to 43. This pit offense is moving quickly down the field. Here comes a first down pass attempt. There's a shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Well, first of all, I'm impressed that the user has not turned the game off and reset. They're playing it to the final whistle. And the offense is following your lead by playing hard and gaining some confidence for next week. You're not going to win this game. But I'll tell you what, you're a trooper. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Now they get set to kick it away. And the deep kick will sail out the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This offense scores the defense with a lightning strike, a one-play touchdown in the last possession. We'll see if they can duplicate that magic here. He slings this one deep down the left side. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Man, they're already up big in this game, and now they're taking shots downfield. They're just looking to pour it on right now. Still throwing the football in vertical shots to boot. He's hit as he throws it. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Incompletion sets up a second down. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Contact as he threw it. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Looking to throw yet again. Lofting it toward the left sideline. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Whoa, you talk about a big hit there. I think this guy holds on to this football at a critical third down if this linebacker doesn't lower the blow. Great timing on that hit to prevent the P.I. And he'll lost it to the end zone. Can't connect downfield. Incomplete and a turnover on downs. Chris, the design of this play is perfect. Everything you want to see, the quarterback puts the ball on the money. The ball's right in his arms. All he has to do is catch it for a touchdown, and he drops it on fourth down. He's brought down, but a solid game moves the ball across midfield to the 41. You know, this is what makes this receiver so dangerous. If you play him in man, he can run by you for a big play. You decide to sit back in zone, and he's got the seven. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. 
This offensive line flat out cannot handle the pressure of this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of Chris, get this, seven sacks in this game so far. Gets made on the out route. And they bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the market. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Quick throw to his receiver. It's caught downfield. He's tackled immediately, but not before a game that moves the ball to the 25. Pitt getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. On the run, he'll let it go. Catch is made down the middle. And he's down after the catch at the 12, a red zone opportunity. And the Panthers looking to cash in this red zone trip. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. Here's a throw underneath to the back. Brought down at the three after the completion. The offense really threatening now. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Gonna pick up the third and short through the air. They trap him and sack him back at the ten. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. Defense spends their second timeout to try to regroup. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. So they get the three, but the margin is still huge. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. He'll return it from inside the five. He's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Last time, the defense got a big fourth down stop. Let's see what the offense can do this time. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. Second down here. Time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. And that's the two-minute warning. This offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. Second down after that previous play. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. What makes a really good counter play is selling it to the defense. So you're going to go one way and then handing it off in the opposite direction. But if you don't sell, you just... And he lofts it toward the left sideline. Catch made all the way down inside the 35. Touchdown, Georgia. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. But they'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT is good as they continue to pull away even more. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the return an opportunity to bring this back. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Pittsburgh offense is back out on the field. They need a couple miracles here in the final two minutes to rescue what's been a very, very rough outing so far. Brought down, but broke a tackle to produce a solid gain there. The completion makes it second and short. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. And the pass is dropped incomplete with it had a huge game. He took his eye off the ball. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. The Panthers will bring the punt team onto the field. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Here's the first play of the drive. He started at 28. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Breaks loose at the 40. They finally get him, but it's across midfield. Big gain to the 33. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. 
If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. They bring him down, but a solid game there on first down. Looks to be just inches short of the marker. He's got some room. Can he get there? Tackle just short of the goal line at the one. What a run. The dogs line it up with first and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Touchdown, dogs. And the route is on. Chris, you talk about having a day. This offense just goes out. They don't, they're not even looking at the scoreboard. They're just going out, executing the play call, and continuing to put points on the board. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the Panthers offense is back out on the field. This one has been a beatdown for the ages. A demolition. An evisceration. Gets hauled in here over the middle. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. Pitt getting set for the first and ten coming up. And he drops back in the gun. Snags the quick throw. He's brought down quickly as short game gets them a few yards closer to the marker. And a late timeout taken, just four seconds on the clock. That completion makes it second and medium. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. He's picked for a third time tonight. He just goes down, and that'll do it for the ballgame. This one ended up being a blowout for if they get the W, but they also make a pretty strong statement here today. Yeah, I thought this game would be a lot closer, at least closer than how things ended up. But give credit to this team for coming out with a good game plan and just dominating the game. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.